messing things up. I hope I was brutal. Spooky. Now the other guy said something cool and ominous. I spewed a thing. This is not a good look. Say it! 
would not die again. Come on, back to the lodge. He'll be safe there. Oh, you can only be safe for so long. I'll see my beloved again soon. Wild, we are a little off plan, but I think we can smooth things out from here. But uh, I I think you should talk to Hammerlock. Cage, what? My word, Winnie! Get out of, get out of my. Vault Hunter, what in the devil happened to Wainwright? A bunch of raw wearing wackos attacked, but we fought him off with style. Wainwright's gonna be fine. Well, thank heavens you were there. Look, he's coming around. Winnie, are you all right? The heart still beats. Winnie, wake up! Mm -hmm. Oh, Vault Hunter, there you are. I must have dozed off for a moment. Must have been the whiskey. Here, take my shotgun. Can't trust my hands right this moment. Well, I suppose that's one way to start the celebration. But now, thanks to Gage and the Vault Hunter, it seems everything has settled down. We're back on track, and I'm sure nothing else will go wrong. My esteemed guest, might I have a word? Over here, at... The counter. I'm afraid the young groom to be isn't out of danger. He brought something back with him into the lodge. You should attempt to remove that ring from his finger without alarming the happy couple. What were you doing out there? I'll keep your chaps on, Alistair. We just ran into some robe wearing punks with bad manners, and the Vault Hunter and I had to beat a sense of decorum into them. Nothing more to worry about. Let me get a look at that fancy ring there, Wainwright. Oh, sure, of course. The vessel has been chosen. It's only a matter of time. Winnie, what are you saying? What? I, I don't... I don't know. But I do feel a bit... uh... sideways. It is as I fear. Another moment of your time, if you would, at the counter. That ring on his finger has powers beyond mortal comprehension. The Lodge is slowing the effect to a degree, but the outcome is inevitable. You must find a way to remove it, or I'm afraid he will miss the ceremony. Entirely. There is a man known as Burton Briggs who is proficient at uncovering secrets. 
a detective of sorts. He can help you learn more about this ring and its origins. Look for him at his agency, the Eyewitness. Do be careful. Your actions this night have stirred the bonded into quite the frenzy. The streets will be rather hazardous. You could always stay here. The Lodge wants you to be comfortable. I seek sinister sounds. I go by DJ Midnight. Gage hired me to spin dark dirges and mix malevolent melodies in the name of my dying love. But my samples are stale, putrid, insufferable. I require new samples. Record some sinister sounds for me, yes? Sure, why not? I used to do a fair bit of recording in my day. Corporate espionage and the like. Excellent. And so our dark journey begins. We hunt for the sinister sound. Take that echo recorder, my trusty conductor. A moment of your time. The rules of the Lodge must be respected. The Lodge only wants to provide hospitality, but I am afraid there are still some who abuse their guest privileges. A young man named Kidin has made off with a selection of exotic wines without paying his tab. If you could find him, the Lodge would be Ever so grateful. Gideon came in from the cold in need of shelter. He asked for something to blind him from the things he had seen. Of course, I had just the claret for him. He took to it well. Too well, it seems. But the lodge provides you is only temporary, and while my beloved recovers, I will have to content myself with you. So let's play, worm. Nobody does bullets better than Marcus Munition. Mission update. I roughed up a local priest, and he told me the Pearl of Ineffable Knowledge was last seen in a haunted shipwreck within the cavern of unmentionable sorrow. 